This is a breaking news alert. Got some more breaking news for you now. Yes, the big story of the day, DACA. A reporter asked Sarah Huckabee Sanders about it, about Trump's decision on it, and what she said next blew the room up. We'll show you the video clip in a moment here. Paris Wade, Liberty Writers News, reports that Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, she answered questions on DACA at a press briefing earlier today. She made one point very, very clear, though. She said it is, quote, not cold-hearted for the president to uphold the law. Take a look. Kristen. The president vowed to treat dreamers with, quote, great heart. How is this move treating them with great heart? I, I think by allowing an orderly process to take place, you know, I, there's a lot of people that I've seen attacking the president for uh, not showing the level of compassion that they feel like he should. To me, the most heartless thing that I've seen all day today is that Democrats like Nancy Pelosi are using this decision today for fundraising while the president's trying to fix this situation. They are politicizing an issue instead of actually doing their job. If they would spend less time fundraising and more time focusing on solutions, we wouldn't even be in this problem in the pr first place. On the president's decision where all of this stems from, Dreamers, supporters of Dreamers say this is cold-hearted. You're leaving the future of 800,000 people uncertain, up in the air. What's your message to them? It, it's not cold-hearted for the president to uphold the law. We are a nation of law and order. And the day that we start to ignore the fact that we are that, then we throw away everything that gives these people a reason to want to come to our country. If we stop becoming the country that we were envisioned to be, then we throw away what makes us special, which makes America unique. This president's not willing to do that. The previous administration was, this one isn't. But we want to have real solutions. We want to have laws that, that address these problems. But it's Congress's job to legislate, not the president's, and we actually, and we actually want to uphold the Constitution, and I think people across this country should be celebrating the fact that they have a president that is standing up and, and upholding the Constitution as he was elected to do. you got to love her. She knows how to put the press in their place. Now, after the Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced that the administration wanted an orderly wind-down, Sanders said that Congress should do their job while defending the president's compassion. Quote, it's not cold-hearted for the president to uphold the law. We're a nation of law and order. And the day we start to ignore that fact, that we are that, then we throw everything away that gives these people a reason to want to come to our country. She said that at the briefing. She said, quote, if we stop becoming the country that we were envisioned to be, then we throw away what makes us special, which makes America unique. This president is not willing to do that. The previous administration was. This one isn't. Sanders said that the president wrestled back and forth with DACA. She said it wasn't an easy decision. And share this if you agree with Trump's decision to make to end DACA. It's time that we fix our immigration system. And it's absolutely even better that Donald Trump has said, look, we're going to end DACA. But it's really Congress's job to go ahead and create the law insert it into the system, let people vote on it. Not how Obama did it through an executive order. Very simple. And people are up in arms over that because he, Trump ended an illegal executive order. Everyone's like, oh, who cares? It was an executive order. No, it was an illegal one. He ended it, put it back on Congress's plate to fix it. And as you see, Congress is out there scrambling. Oh, yeah, we're going to get it done. <laughs> but they won't end Obamacare, okay? And they can't get tax reform done yet. So, but they're going to run and go and help all the illegals. Thanks a lot, Congress. You guys suck. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Comment below. Subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report on your social networks. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Badass shirt now available. Link in the description. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please, share this report, and, to get more videos like this, become a Next News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, The Next News Network.